g-force effects did this pilot leave his body let us take a closer look at exactly what the force of gravity is and how it affects the human body both on the ground and during flight gravity is a force of acceleration this means that it acts on objects to change their rates of velocity all objects exert a gravitational force over one another and this force is unique because it can act over very large distances on and near the planet earth the gravitational force of our planet is so great due to Earth's large mass that all other gravitational forces are essentially negligible. The human body, much like the rest of life on Earth, has adapted to a terrestrial life in which we are always exposed to the gravitational force of Earth, g. During powered flight, however, it is possible to experience both more or less than this 1g constant. Magnitudes of this value are expressed numerically and therefore pulling 3 gs is equivalent to experiencing 3 times the normal gravitational force. A person who weighs 150 pounds at 1 g will actually weigh 450 pounds at 3 g's, no kidding. G forces act on the human body in different axes, or directions. These are usually described as the x, y, z axis. Each has a positive, plus, or negative, direction. So. How do these forces affect the body's ability to function? As stated above, the most significant physiologic effect from G-forces are related to tissue ischemia, specifically intracerebral ischemia. Because of the high sensitivity that the eye's retina has to hypoxia, symptoms are usually first experienced visually. As the retinal blood pressure decreases below the eye's globe pressure, usually 10 to 21 mm Hg, blood flow begins to cease to the light sensing receptors in the retina, first affecting perfusion farthest from the optic disc with progression of central vision loss. Therefore visual symptoms in response to increased G's usually progresses from increasing tunnel vision to graying out to full blackout, a phenomenon in which a person retains consciousness, but full retinal ischemia causes absolute blindness. The final submission to G-forces produces a G-induced loss of consciousness, which is usually divided into a relative and absolute component. Absolute incapacitation is the period of time when the aircrew member is physically unconscious and averages about 12 seconds. Relative incapacitation is the period in which the consciousness has been regained, but the person is confused and remains unable to perform simple tasks. This period averages about 15 seconds. Upon regaining cerebral blood flow, the GLOC victim usually experiences myoclonic convulsions and oftentimes full amnesia of the event is experienced. Many militaries train their aircrew about G-forces and the anti-G straining maneuver, AGSM, using a centrifuge.